Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Wayne Carey Global Channel. I am Pastor Wayne Carey, and this is a place where giants are slayed. Uh, those of you watching for the first time, we would love for you to be a part of our community. So here's what you can do. Subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so that you can be notified when we bring forth content to you on a weekly basis here on our channel. We add value to you. We give you the best relationship advice from a kingdom perspective among other things uh, that we talk about. I trust that everyone or everything is well with you um, in your life. Um, and um, it's always good to connect. All right. So if you're watching us for the first time, we would honestly love for you to subscribe to our channel. Um, I want to share with you today. Um, I love the story, this story about um, Shadrach, Meshach and the Bednego. And we, we, you know what I'm saying? We know the story as kids growing up. Uh, but in reality, when we were to go back into the story, um, and it seems as if it's history, it's, it's old, it's, it's, un, it's, it's familiar, but sometimes we may find ourselves not connecting with that story. But it's, it's you know, if, you are, if you're a spirit-filled person, and if, you, know, if you could see, and your eyes are open, we are right in this time right here that Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, those guys that they live in, we are right in, be, be, you know, because the system is the system. This is a system that is developing, and the system that is developing and that is growing on us to become like them. The Bible says that we are in the world, but we are not of the world. He says we are not to be conformed to this world, but rather be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And so we find ourselves, we... we we came from heaven and we've been placed in the earth to, to rule it, to dominate it, to, to carry out the kingdom assignment that, that, that God has for us. And so here we find ourselves, we can find ourselves being so intoxicated by the world system that we become a part of it. And they cannot tell whether you are a believer or not. Because you are so, you look just like the world. You're doing everything the world does. You are saying, just talking, speaking just like the world. Everything that's happened, you are just a part of it and you're just going along with it. And so in this moment or in this time that we are living in, God is looking for persons on our, one of the other sessions that we talk about how God is roaming to, the, to and fro the earth according to Second Chronicles chapter 16 verses 9. The eyes of the Lord are roaming to and fro the earth to show himself strong on behalf of those who, who hearts is perfect or who is committed toward him. Um, that's what he is. And so in the Bible, um, these three, uh, three boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when we think of history and we, we call the names of, 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 of um, great men who, who have changed history, uh, Malcolm, uh, Malcolm X comes to mind. Martin Luther King comes to mind. Uh, Rosa Parks comes to mind. Uh, these are great leaders in, 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 in history uh, who, who, who stood up. And when we look at uh, Dr. Martin Luther King and um, Malcolm X, but more so Dr. Martin Luther King, when we look at his life and in the movement of the 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 black and the whites and you know in his day and he stood up and it's like this if you are not willing to stand your name is not going to be called in history no one is going to know your name rosa parks who said you know what you have something you made up a law and the law that you made up says something about um we are not supposed to sit on the back of the bus but that's what you say that's not what what my law is the law says that we are equal. This is what God law says, that we are equal. In, in his eyes, we are equal. So I can sit anywhere that I want to sit. And because of the stance that she took, her name is called among the greats. Her name is called because she, she made a stand. And what is going on in the world with, with the systems and, and the things that is, that is being put in place, um, we cannot go along in motion with really what's going on. Um, because the Bible says, like the apostle says, we rather obey God than obey man. That is what man law says this. But if, you, if, if the laws that you are making is contrary to what God law says, then we cannot be a part of it respectfully. 
And this is what uh, this is the decisions that we as believers that we're going to have to make as kingdom citizens. We have to make this decision. We, we have to be in this decision, be the decision to say, you know what? I'm not going to be a part of this because if we love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the Bible says the love of the father is not in him. All that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes and the pride of life. And he says, if we go after these things, God is not in us. The love of God is not in us. So God is not going to shine. He's not going to show up in the lives of persons who are not willing to stand, uh, not to be soft, not to be weak, but really to stand and be the voice in the earth as God intended um, in, his, in his vision and his mission statement for man. And so I want to read uh, to you Daniel chapter 3. Um, Daniel chapter 3 and the story about three friends. Their names was Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. These were their names, um, the Hebrew names. But their names was changed. Their Babylonian names were Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bednego. Some says Bad Negro. But Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bednego. And the Bible says, I'm going to read from, from verses, I think it's chapter 3. I'll read from verse from verse um, 11 read from verses 11 and it says this story the background was again the statue was built Nebuchadnezzar built a statue and the statue that was built um, everyone supposed to bow down when they were to hear the sound hear the trumpet or the sound everyone were to bow down and so the Bible says in verses in chapter 3 Daniel chapter 3 verses um, 11 says and that whosoever does not fall down and worship will be thrown into the blazing fire. And then the story was being told to Nebuchadnezzar. But there are some Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Here it is. The thing about it, these guys worked. They were in positions. They were literally in positions. So it wasn't like they was in the background no, they literally were in positions. But there are some Jews whom you have set, see, set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. These guys were working for the king on the king payroll. And it goes on, it says, it says, Shadrach, Meshach, the Bednego, who pay no attention to you, O king, they neither serve your gods nor worship the image of gold you have set up. Literally, when you were in the kingdom, when you were in the kingdom, you pay no attention to what's going on out in the world. It is no interest whatsoever. They paid no interest to what the, the king Nebuchadnezzar, what he wanted. They paid no interest in it. And then it says... Verse 13, and so furious with rage, Nebuchadnezzar summoned Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bednego. So these men were brought before the king, and Nebuchadnezzar said to them, It is true, Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship um, the image of gold I have set up. Now, when you hear, so he gave them, so he tells them, he asks them just to find out. Let me see how serious these guys are because I'm going to ask them. So he asks them, is it true? So he says, you know what? We're going to try this again. He says, now when you hear Shadrach, Meshach, and the you know, when you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyre, the harp, the pipes, and all kinds of music, he says, if you are ready to fall down and worship the image I made, very well. Say, very good. But if you do not worship it, you will be thrown immediately into the blazing furnace. Then what God will be able to rescue you from my hand? And again, you know, you don't, you don't put our God to the test. And so these guys... Were, were, were tried again and so the flute blew the sound and everything began to play and these guys 
they didn't do it. And it says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied. And Abednego replied, replied, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not even need to defend ourselves because this is not an issue for us. It's an issue for you and for your people, but there's no issue for us because there is no interest. We serve the true and we serve the living God and we are not going to bow. We are not going to bow to the image and even if our God does not deliver us, we are not going to bow to that. And so these guys are furnace. And so then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. His attitude toward them changed. And he ordered the furnace heat seven times hotter than usual and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in the army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the burning, blazing fire. I want to ask you a question today. If you were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, in that position, would have you would you bow or would you stop? Would you bow or would you stand up? What would you have done? Would you bow or would you stood? And some t- there's a lot of times we can say this that oh I, I would have bowed. I mean I would have just stand up and say I'm not gonna bow. To be thrown in the fiery furnace <laughs> to be thrown in the fiery furnace and you don't see God as yet. Now, if, he was, if God is standing in there and he is saying, Sta- come, then you'll be like, okay, I know God is in there. Well, I'm not going to get burned. But you don't see him. See, and this is what faith is. The Bible says that God is going to reveal his secrets. He's going to reveal his secrets to those whose heart is perfect toward him. To the righteous, he's going to reveal his secrets to them. And to those persons who doesn't have faith, who doesn't practice faith, the Bible says he reigns on the just and the unjust. So, you know, he shows in your life, but it's, it's not like the one who stands. And so when you make a stand and said, I'm not going to bow to the system of the world, just like they saw a fourth person in the fire, that's what God would do in your life. He will show up in your life when you stand. But we have a lot of weak, a lot of jelly back persons who doesn't want to speak, who doesn't want to, they, want, they don't want any conflict. That's really what is going on in the world. But God is looking for persons who is going to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bednego and says, you know what, King, I hear what you say. That's your image. That's what you say. But I'm not going to bow to that. And God is looking for men and women of the kingdom. Who will not bow? Will you be that person who says, I'm not going to bow to this system? I don't care what they say. I don't care what ridicule that I I get. Whatever it may cost, I'm not going to bow. And this is what God wants. He wants persons who is not going to bow to this system. Because you know what? If you love the world, the Bible says, the love of God is not in you. He said, if you are a friend to the world, you are actually an enemy to God. On behalf of my beautiful wife, uh, Janice, again, we love you, we bless you, and we speak and declare the grace of God over you, his favor, speak his blessings, continued blessings over your life. Those of you who do not know Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, this is a great time to do it. So we encourage you to do so. We love you, we bless you, and we'll see you in our next session. Have a great day. God bless. Peace.